I'm Rowan. I'm a florist based in Asheville, North Carolina, and the owner of the flower truck Tiny Magic. It's been a dream of mine to have a flower farm to source from, and this year I was given the opportunity to start one. Since early spring, We've been busy starting hundreds of seeds and cultivating the land so that we can transform this space into a lush meadow of flowers, which is why I'm calling this space Tiny Meadow. In this video, we'll take you around on a little farm tour. We also wanted to document our spring equinox week, which includes foraging on the farm, making some sweet dandelion lemonade, and having a little spring equinox tablescape to celebrate the beginning of Tiny Meadow. Tiny Meadow is located just north of Asheville in the Flat Creek area, a short 15 minute drive from the city. The farm space became available to us when we reached out to the farming community, which connected us with some landowners who had a flower farm project needing some work. With 4,000 square feet available, we're starting with half the space, enough for 24 beds. Each bed can fit around 75 plants so you can imagine the massive amount of flowers that we can grow. The other half of the space we've started with a cover crop of white and red clover, a sustainable method which improves the overall soil health for the next growing season. The farm holds some charming relics, including an old barn once home to horses, a quaint spring house, which was once used to keep perishables like milk and eggs cool underground without electricity. We're also lucky to have a creek nearby, allowing us to set up irrigation for Tiny Meadow. We've set up a simple pump, which will keep our flowers hydrated and growing throughout the season. While most of our seeds are started indoors, We've also planted a few cold, loving flowers like nigella and larkspur directly in the soil. In about a month after the frost has passed, we'll fill each bed with starts. And even though our farm may not be in full bloom just yet, we're surrounded by cheerful dandelions, an often overlooked but unmistakable sign that spring is here. Dandelions are actually full of nutrients and vitamins and can offer immune and digestion support. Although it may seem like there is more than enough, we practice sustainable harvesting by leaving some for the pollinators. All parts of the plant are edible and you can do so many different things with them. You can dry the leaves and petals for tea, make a dandelion jelly, or add some dandelion greens to your salad or a pesto. The flowers are my favorite part. They have a bright honey flavor that is the epitome of spring. Which is why we're harvesting the flowers today to make a dandelion infused lemonade. To make this lemonade, you'll need two cups of dandelion petals, four to six lemons, water, cheesecloth, and honey. Pick the petals off the stems and rinse to remove dirt. Bring the water to a boil. 
Once boiling, remove the saucepan from heat and add the dandelion petals in the cheesecloth to the hot water. Let the dandelion petals steep in the hot water for about 30 minutes to extract their flavor, then remove and let sit for 30 minutes. In a separate saucepan, warm the honey over low heat until it becomes thin and easy to pour. Combine the dandelion infused water, freshly squeezed lemon juice, and warmed honey. Stir well to ensure everything is thoroughly mixed. Garnish each glass with a fresh dandelion flower. Spring is about new beginnings. The light returns, buds begin to form, flowers begin to break their dormancy, and some even blooming early to chase the cold weather blues away. Like the winter honeysuckle, with its creamy yellow flowers, which have the fragrance of crisp water and apples. Our tablescape is here at Tiny Meadow, and we're celebrating its beginning too by slowing down and noticing what's around us. We've made an orange marmalade cake as a nod to winter citrus. Along with our dandelion lemonade, this made for a great way to celebrate spring and the new farm and share it with friends. Wherever you are, I hope this video inspires you to do the same. We hope you've enjoyed watching this, and if you did, subscribe to our channel to follow our progress as we build a regenerative flower farm. We'll be documenting several projects throughout the seasons, capturing the highs and lows of flower farming with intention. This is just the beginning and we're so excited. You can check out the description to follow us on social media and also see a detailed recipe for the dandelion lemonade. Thanks for watching. We're so glad you're here.